one. Oh, I was excited about this. Okay. All right, and we are live. Hello, and welcome to Oily Trash Movies, the only podcast where two people say unfunny things the entire time. We're your hosts. Hello, hello. I'm Daddy Warbucks. And I'm Bubblegum Barbie. Today we've got a great movie. We're going to be watching Spare Parts, but before we get into that, last week we watched Mermaid Down, and we have not been able to stop talking about this movie or thinking We're about thinking it. Thinking about since. it or dreaming about it. I've been dreaming about it and thinking about it and talking about it. It's been invaded in my dreams. Like it's been invading my life. I close my eyes and I see this movie. I know. <laughs> I, I take I honestly, a nap and I visualize <laughs> this movie. It's like Tetris Syndrome, but with Mermaid Down. It's it's interesting. The idea was so fresh. Like a remastered telling of The Little Mermaid. It was really interesting. But we hated it for some reason. But we hated it because the they didn't really know where to focus on. And I hated the bad guy. He's a psychiatrist. It would have been so easy to have scenes of him torturing this woman and being like, hmm, yeah, subject exhibits increased heart rate and paranoid delusion. Like, he could have been doing that the entire time. You would have had a perfectly established bad guy. You could have had a great arc where everybody where they defeat him and they get free and then the mermaid who's been locked up because she refused to talk and walk even though there were no physiological reasons she shouldn't be able to do that it turns out she's a real mermaid and you could have had the book girl be the one to tell the story because the book she could have been reading even though like it was something about water or ocean like she could have been reading about mermaids and been the one to figure out all that shit and translate instead of needing the sign language interpreter she could have been the mermaid interpreter there's so many possibilities that were all squandered in this movie i did love the beginning it was Uh so much fun this is where her tail gets cut off and it's just so good it's so good sure and i agree the first act or at least that first scene is a fantastic action horror sequence which would have been great if this movie ended up being an action horror movie but it wasn't yeah, it ended up being about the psych ward. With no and action this... and no horror. Well, I did like I did like the the uh where the helmet girl she went and explored and then her going down and stepping on this skeletor of of body and that whole sequence view was really cool and crazy and the gore was a little cool on that. I like that part. And then, also, we failed to see this, but do you remember when Helmet Girl was down there in the bottom looking for a mermaid, uh, there was a woman who was bald? That was the psychiatrist's other victim who was still alive. She was coming in all all disoriented, like, she came out of the hole, like, confused and has obviously been experimented on and nobody reacted to her yeah there was no payoff for that there was no like who was that woman whatever so she's still wandering around down there by herself Mm -hmm. i guess and that Mm -hmm. poor dog is kept in a dark underground bunker where the only way you can get to it is to lift up a carpet and then enter a secret hatch yeah, it's crazy. Like all trash this- movie. That movie was such oily trash meat. I'm so glad <laughs> that we hated it. Because I kept thinking about it. It's like okay, so he ended up being this crazy person, and then realizing like this crazy ser- serial killer who experiments on women on his patients, and nothing came of it. None of it. And nothing. the ghost girl. And I was, I mean, I knew it from the get go. I was annoyed about this ghost character. I understood the concept that they were trying to do but she was too involved in the third the second half specifically where I would have preferred like I said having the woman who sees her and see is actually seeing ghosts and saying what the mermaid is saying but you had the bully girl who kept bullying her for not like having this imaginary friend quote-unquote but that would have been interesting 
if she kept talking about it because at that point in the whole second half the woman who sees ghosts is being so bullied that she doesn't even talk about her imaginary friends as much because of this bully girl who never even had an arc at the end of the film yeah i, I think like, the problem why? was is there was no payoff for her being a ghost or for the other woman to be able to see ghosts it's almost like if, if we go back and listen to that, lesson, that episode, we at one point said, you know what? Don't even make her a mermaid. Like, take that whole part out of mermaid down. And it's almost like, yeah, just take out the ghost. Like, just have her be another character or have some sort of purpose or reason for her being a ghost, which I think, I think having the ghost gives you more possibilities. And then that would make, like, the surprise. Like, I think you would play it throughout the entire movie where you're not really sure if she's a ghost or just a hallucination. And then at the end, she turns out to be a ghost, and then the mermaid turns out to be a real mermaid, and you sort of had her have a reveal of all of this supernatural stuff. Or you play it where it could be construed as either way. If you're a really clever, talented writer, you can say, okay, well, this... You can interpret it as both being... It was just hallucinations and crazy people, or it's actually real uh, mythology. That's how you you make a movie like this, and that, I think that's how you you create art. You have a little bit of ambiguity, uh, but but whatever. We, we've talked about it's it's now been like a total of three hours. We've talked about this movie on podcast. Uh, I kind of want to move on to spare parts. Are you do you have anything final to say about Mermaid Down? I mean, I recommend it still. It, it is oily trash, but I do recommend it because it's a fun concept. It is an interesting concept. It is a great retelling and a fresh idea of The Little Mermaid or a mermaid movie. Uh, it does have gore, which is fun. And that's it. Yeah, I agree. It's oh, it, and also it's gonna it's gonna if you watch it, it's gonna invade your dreams, your ideas, your thoughts. It's gonna completely take over your mind and who you are for an entire week. True, this movie will possess your soul, but in a good yes. way. So this <laughs> week we're watching Spare Parts. This is pure grindhouse schlock, and it's such it has such a grindhouse feel to it that it looks like something you would expect to be written and directed by Robert Rodriguez. Uh, the movie that immediately comes to mind is Planet Terror, where they replace the woman's leg with a machine gun. And in this movie, they're replacing arms with, like, flamethrowers and chainsaws and, like, pneumatic pistons. And it looks just so over the top. It's like if you had a bunch of third grade boys and they had a sleepover and they stayed up all night drinking Mountain Dew and watching cheesy horror movies on vhs or dvd depending on your generation and then in the morning over fruit loops and frosted flakes you ask them like hey uh give me some ideas for a movie and then they all just started talking at once this is the kind of script that you would get like ah yeah they they get kidnapped and they turn into half robots and they fight and it's awesome and it's like all right yeah i'm down with that yeah, this looks really good. Uh, the director is Andrew Thomas Hunt, the first, and he's done the most recent film has been The Fight Machine, which sounds amazing. Uh, the writers are David Mornark and Soviet Vorshakov. All people that we've never Vorshakov. heard of. People we haven't heard of. Uh, the cast seems that they've mostly do indie films as always the biggest name right now is julian richings and he was part of the man of steel of 2013 okay that's kind of a big that's a big movie mm -hmm. and uh that's pretty much it everybody else has done a lot of stuff but it's been all indie oh we do have a few cast that were in the x-men and oh one my God. War of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, All right, but so they these, look like they were these are people small. who are tangential to Hollywood. They get small roles and big stuff, and this is like mm -hmm. their big role, and they get big roles and small stuff. It sounds like. Yeah. All right, are yeah. you ready for this movie? I am excited, and let's go. All right, let three, two, one, and. I already love the production logo. This is amazing. This is a character. 
Oh my god, we just have a wheelbarrow full of body parts to start off with. Alright, great cold open, and then we go right into our musical number, introducing Miss 45. God, do you think we're gonna have to mute this for the copyright? Uh, no. This almost reminds me of The Green Room, which starts out very similarly with a punk rock band performing for biker actually in the in the mo in green room they're performing for like a neo nazi organization their stats are so good so this movie is already very promising i'm excited the sound is great the lighting is great the stunts are great that was great sound mixing too where she's just jamming on the guitar and it cuts out the moment she lifts it up to block the guy's punch and that's cool I like these ladies. Oh my god! You get his eyes gouged out? <laughs> Dude, this guy is so metal. He's so pumped that he got his teeth knocked out at this punk rock show. What happened to the guy who lost his eyes? <laughs> yeah, that guy did not. This was not the best concert for that guy. Oh, this is actually a Canadian film, by the way. Oh, okay. Emma, 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 Emma. <laughs> he just chanted that the whole way back to his car. Nice. And we just kick right back into the hard rock. Hell yeah, they have even car stunts. Oh yeah, if we get it. Oh man, this is great. This is literally like 80s grindhouse type. What was the budget for this film? It must have been a huge budget, but it doesn't say. It was a pretty big budget to have all these stunts incorporated in it. Because stuntmen are expensive AF. If you want to make money, you want to be a stunt guy in filmmaking. You just got to risk breaking your neck every day. Every day. Or burning alive. The money is good. Yeah. Intense. Admittedly, the stunts were pretty subpar in that. Like, there were no actual scenes of the two cars colliding in any sort of way. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Flat tire. How convenient. It's not even that flat. <laughs> you could still drive sounded on that. Like, yeah, you could still, like, it sounded like the, it was so flat that the rim was scratching. All right, just so everybody here watching this, if you're a woman, uh, that tire was about as flat as it can get. Don't try to drive on that. Bubble was wrong. What? That blue one is sick. I want that one. When your skeleton blew. Hold on, ba Barbie, get, uh, get back to the movie, please. You're, you're, getting, you're getting lost in the weeds on these avatars. Classic. No reception. It wouldn't be a horror movie if they could just call the cops. Okay, this is like the shittiest vent system I've ever seen. I bet you Tim shows up at the end and then just dies immediately. Oh, we're locked in here. The door shut. That's not good for the baby. <laughs> oh, here's some other poor sap woman. Ah, oil in my eyes. I, aren't you gonna go help that woman? The why, woman. Why did you just leave? All right, everyone's everyone's been taken care of. We cut the black. Mm. End credits. It also doesn't seem smart to kidnap people and then replace their arms with weapons. I know, right? Make them more dangerous. Dude, I can't wait to see this shit. Ugh. It's a woman, ah, doctor. I don't think that's a woman. Yeah, Just it is. peeling the skin away from the bone. Pretty metal. Great practical effects. Yeah, that looked really good. I hope when they escape at the end, they form like a metal band and they use all of their robot limbs oh, to man. like really rock out. That would be great. And then they become world oh, famous. Oh, dude, that would be cool. Show me your hand. Oh, it's just bone. <laughs> Ble it's been bleached. Yeah, this industrial location that they're at is fucking awesome. Hey, place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, like, we're gonna have a big dramatic scene where the lights come up, right? <laughs> they're taking communion? Is that what's happening? So, it is like a cult religion. This is awesome. 
dear. Do you really think that we would allow a woman with child to do that? We are What do you think we are? Barbarians? Oh my god! Her fetus in a tube? Ah! Oh. Alright, here we go. I thought one of them was gonna have, like, no feet, but, like, walk with guns as feet. Yeah, there's four of them, and they're all missing like just, book. like, one arm. Yeah, which is kind of boring. Could have had a bit more variety, I agree. Oh, man. Well, she wasn't going to have that baby anyway, I guess. It's like, hell yeah, I'm rich. You're going to wake the baby. Your sister, for example. Wait, they're sisters? Her sister fucked her boyfriend? That's brutal. Not you, Emma. How do you feel about the acting performance of these women? Good. I'm invested in their characters. Completely forgot I was watching the movie. <laughs> I thought I was watching a documentary. I, <laughs> I thought I was in there. <laughs> Your own private room. <laughs> There's traffic light behind her. Aww. Oh, he's such a sweetheart. Okay. I hope they get married. I feel like he like loves her because. Ah, uh, God! Thank God that scene ended. I know that's so gross. It's gonna be haunting me. Now I get to have. Now the mermaid down is out of my dreams, and this crap is gonna be haunting me. You're just me. gonna be having nightmares about old men getting hand jobs and baths for the next uh. week. the boyfriend I did say show up in the middle of the night like a freaking idiot yeah why is that guy if they're closed why is he still there like these they're showing us days have passed but the boyfriend still hasn't managed to find the scrap oh yeah true he's just wandering around oh he got her a new shiny one Double sided. She's like, fuck yeah, look at this shit. Has a bow on it. Oh, how romantic. Oh, yeah, it's a nail gun. Dude, all of the blades are so obviously. Not even like prop blades with no edges. They're like rubber. Yeah. Uh, spirit Halloween type blades. Oh, oh man, is his oh, face gonna get ripped yeah. off? Oh, oh hell yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. She's gonna get the treatment. She's gonna get the special room. I feel like the gore in this second fight was a bit toned down compared to that first one, though. Mm -hmm. Took him ten days to freaking <laughs> find it. You're banging the guitarist, right? Yeah. Good on you. <laughs> oh, now he's pissed. He's pissed now. Did you see that sign said maximum 20 kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour even though this is allegedly taking place in america why did they choose to film this all at night don't get it uh, they like i guess do it all in one day i just think they did it for control because if you film like a, a long fight sequence during the day the sun's gonna move like 30 degrees by the time you're done but if you do it all at night it's continually dark Oh, he's got her a present now. Cute, he went all out of his way. Trust me. To make that box. Yeah, it's a nice box. Boyfriend. What was that t-shirt he was wearing? Oh my god! You know what? It is gonna be her boyfriend. Like, he's gonna come out with, like, a mask on. And she's gonna think it's him. But it's gonna be her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How statistic. Oh, uh, where are the guts? You... Give me some guts. Look at this, the, the, last, two the last supper. The <laughs> they're using the, they're the using the table, the, the car truck says the table. That's hilarious. Yeah. Talk about using every space day. of 
set. Yeah, they basically had access to a junkyard, and they're like, alright, what can we make? <laughs> yeah. And the the crew, like, they were such uh, crafty people because they built that box out of wood and truly the warrior auto parts. Into the convenience store and to now, buy a bow. A little... ah, this is giving me an epileptic seizure now. Also, that was a total cop-out not showing any of that fight. I know, that was so lame. I don't know, I don't think I like this movie. We'll see how it ends. I know what you're thinking. It was rated on IMVD 4 out of 10. I kind of, I believe I agree with that. Yeah, it's not. No. I, I don't even know, I can't even figure out why I don't like it. What do you feel about the writing? Dialogue? Bland. Yeah. I feel like the whole religious cult leader is always a cop out. Uh -huh. It's it's an easy character to write. Uh -huh. They don't have to have any complexity. It's just oh, you know, they're, just they're an ide he's, he's an ideologue. And the thing is, is that they didn't even show. I feel like they didn't show much of the the religion and how they live. I love how whenever they were having the fights and they showed the crowd, there were just dozens and dozens of people. Like, where did those people all come from? Yeah, Are they all part they of the only cult had too? Him, yeah, they only had them for like a day though, because I've noticed that like the first big scene, they had all the background, and then the second, they weren't there anymore. Oh man, fork to the face. No, Blanchik is gonna die. No, let her live. You know, it would have been interesting if, like, introducing the cult, they actually was like, yeah, it's all horrific, right? And then showing, like, the cult showing how, like, wonderful they are and loving. Like, that's how it gets you, you know? Cults mm -hmm. get you by being great and grand. This cult gets you, but like, hey, do you want to see a bunch of people with weapons for arms fight each other? And the people say, hell yeah. She took the keys off of the boy, the dead boyfriend, which I don't know why the emperor's son would have given the keys to the boyfriend. That didn't make sense. Yeah. See, that's the thing about this movie. There's so many plot holes that just... <sighs> you know what this movie like, needs? More nudity. A scripty. That's what this movie needs. A scripty is the, the person that stays next to the director to tell him what scene comes next, what is stated on the scene, what's happening, and then focused on continuity. So when you see films that have issues with continuities because of the scripty. Oh my god, they take all the they take the arms and they put them and in the it? stew and they've been feeding it to them they she said so is this her boyfriend is that her boyfriend's wait, foot wait how did she grab her with her non-arm and then hold the knife with the other one oh hey look there's those people in the cars but now it's now it's men and see they also never Reference or talked about the woman who, that she found in the car. Like they haven't even gotten to. I guess this is it. No, they just walk past the other people. Maybe that's just how they punish people. Oh man, arrow to the heart. Why are they are out? Aren't they like the people they're gonna fight? I believe so. Oh man, they're just gonna set her on fire. Like why? Like what the hell is happening? Like why aren't they slaves themselves? If that's the thing, like they're slaves themselves. I guess not. I think those done. guys were like the existing warriors that are probably treated like. <sighs> Why'd you kill the third one then? I will fight. Oh, I knew he was going to be a good guy. 
and they want me to fight. Uh, I hope he gets the bang. Wait a minute, he had both hands! Pages. Did you see that? Yeah, I did see that. What? They caught it like serious? the second take, but they, they like because didn't bother to cut it. Will stay with you, my son. Yeah, I don't like this movie. Why are you doing this? I was expecting more action. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Uh, something about this movie doesn't click for me. They preferred Mermaid Down over this. It's crazy. God, the concepts are so cool, though. I know, right? Like, it's crazy. I think it's their plot holes. Continuity issues. I think it's just that none of this stuff is as badass as they want you to. To believe it you is think, okay that, yeah I mean, that's a badass all right uh, let me and i do love all these lighting choices it's been the same thing though like it's just been all these lights like it hasn't changed if they were to save these lights at this scene then i would have been like oh my gosh this is so cool but i've seen it already yeah i Half agree save movie. save your garish neon lighting for the third act here God, I almost wonder if you do a unwelcome and you have less action in the first two acts and then save all of your gore and blood here for the end. Unless this final action scene blows our tits off, you know? I only fucked your boyfriend because I want to be you. Yeah, look, they don't actually show the audience this time. Yeah, they, they haven't. They just have the voices and the, the crowd clapping and applause. Aw, oh, man, I hope Driller doesn't die. He will. I know he is, yeah. It's almost guaranteed. That's the thing, like, we could really know exactly where, like, you've been guessing everything right away. Like, and then, too, like, they were, like, afraid of these guys, but they didn't even show the fight scene. So, like, yeah. I don't believe that they're intimidating. Like, it would have been cool if they did, like, they went all out on their special effects where these guys were fighting, even if they went, like, okay, use the, watch the crowd as they're, and then cutting back to these guys, and they're, like, ripping this dude's face from his bare hands. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, get, make it having, apparent how menacing these, these bad yeah. guys are. <laughs> or having like uh, someone on the floor, he managed to open his stomach and then he's like eating their guts, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I would have been like, oh gosh, yeah, these guys are bad dudes. I'm terrified. No, don't let them fight. And you know what? You could have even, you didn't even need to have choreographing. You could have been cutting to their faces of like having, right. like, you know, looking horrified. And then you just cut to them like, you know... Uh, kneeling over a guy and like ripping his throat out or, or doing this or that or like inglorious like just dripping in blood and they're mm -hmm. like using their weapons as they're going into this guy's eye you know even though it's not really there like that would have been cool the, and this movie is capable because we've seen crazy special effects so why didn't you do it they like that scene if they would have used that you know when it's blood is blasting in his face yeah. Why would you? Why would you pull and that this out? This is a big fight. And this is a big fight. Like I'm still whatever about it. It's kind of meh. <gasps> no. Oh, he like fell back onto like a pole. Mm -hmm. He's still gonna kill the guy though before he dies. Oh, oh yeah. That now see that was great. That was great. Yeah. See, this team is capable, so it's like, why didn't they do that? Thank you. Take it doesn't care, even Cobra give him a kiss. It doesn't even give him a kiss. All right, there's a crowd. Oh, there's the crowd. Dude, I think they're gonna kill the emperor, and then I think the ladies are gonna be the new champs of the gridiron, and will run oh. the cult. Oh, what? Fuck that sheriff. Dude, this is... They're like, That's... I'll give you blood. He's still the Emperor's son. Like, why would you treat him that way? Like, you wouldn't even do that. Oh, shit. They're actually fighting? 
Oh my god, they're all chanting her name! Just like you said they would. Aw, she killed him. I thought they were gonna live happily ever after. I know, right? Thought so too. We stand below so she kept it anyway? Since the time our I knew she would be. But like, what was the point of killing the boy, the guy then? Oh, this movie sucks. Look, Would have been put... more interesting if she, if they oh! like kept him alive. Look who's alive in the background, Driller. Oh, wow. I also like how they put a. She's now wearing a streak of purple in her hair to honor her dead sister. Oh man, look now they're the fighting. Oh man. Oh, that's her boyfriend. She kept him alive. And the sheriff. I bet you they're gonna run at each other and it's gonna cut to black and that'll be the credits. Yeah, that would be the end of it. I see. Called I it. This movie. This movie was not that great. I didn't like it. I mean I like I wanted to like it. I liked the idea of it. I liked the music. I liked the actors. I liked the I liked the set. I liked Wait, what? Hello? Oh my fucking god. Alright, it's okay. It's okay. I'm coming back. Oh my god. Alright, my what my Discord my Discord crashed. Sorry about that. Oh shit. So that was spare parts. I, I think we're both kind of disappointed. After yeah, the premise. I'm very disappointed. Yeah. The trailer was pretty awesome. All of the screenshots. It and felt I, like a bait and switch, you know? Well, not really, but like. Mm, I, I like liked everything. I like the set. I like the special effects. I like the actors, the cast. I like the idea. I think what I didn't care for too much was the script, the story itself. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this movie. I. I, you know what? It started out strong too with that musical number and the big brawl or the quote riot uh, at the bar. I don't know where it started to lose me. But uh, I think I think everything was just too bland. There was some good uh -huh. gore, but I think I think the creative vision just didn't come through. Yeah. I would have liked more special effects because it was capable. It, they had a team of stunt guys. They could do it. Why didn't we see that fight with big guys that they were going to fight? Number one. More gore. Number two. I think you utilize the gore that you have better because... Uh, you know, you fought those three guys at the end and those are sort of your end bosses... I think each one of them should have been killed in a pretty dramatic fashion. And maybe, like, in the very first fight, there was a scene where someone just gets their head completely crushed. And it was, like, a one-second shot. And it's like, okay, you could put that one-second shot of that head being, being smashed by the sledgehammer, I think, at any point. Mm -hmm. And I I don't know. I, I think you could might even be able to save this in editing. But again, I, it's there's just something about yeah. A lot of these scenes just don't work for me, mm -hmm. and I really I can't even put my finger on it. I know, same, and and that's the issue. Like maybe it was continuity issues. There was continu there was probably continuity issues that we didn't notice too much. Like there was that one scene with the guy who you said there was a second hand. I think too, I. I thought that there was going to be, it's called Spare Parts, and I thought there was going to be more of a variety of what parts they had, where it, it really was just their hands. It was either the left hand or the right hand, there, they had different... Here's Driller with both hands. You can see his other thumb behind his head. There it is. Okay, so this is a Gladiator movie, and I'm trying to think of Russell Crowe's Gladiator. And what made that movie so good? And I think mm -hmm. the fear and tension and the buildup to each of the Gladiator fights in Gladiator, which admittedly, Gladiator is one of the greatest films 
Yeah. Uh, po possibly of all time. I mean, I don't know how many yeah. awards it won, but it won all of the awards. It was Best Picture. And I felt like they tried to do that, but the only way they were able to emulate that was just by playing heavy rock music leading up to each fight. And uh, you would have a bunch of... You, you had garish lighting and rock music. But, I, I mean, it's also... It's a grindhouse film. Like, I don't mm -hmm. expect there to be tons of tension. And what I do expect is tons of gore and ridiculous over-the-top action. And for some reason, the gore and the action in this movie just didn't stick to me. Yeah. I feel like this movie didn't do much. I don't know. I didn't like this movie that much. I expected more. So what parts did we like? I think we both liked the driller. We liked the... I liked the bar scene. The bar scene was great. Uh, I liked the, the... The interaction between Amy and Driller. Uh, yeah. I did feel... I felt that seduction scene was played pretty well. I like that he was an honorable person in the end, and he even survives to the end, and he's he's the new right-hand man to our new queen and ruler. And it's weird, though, because I liked how... I liked their relationship with the new queen and the guy, and that's what he wanted. And it's just really strange that she's still... Like, he was nice to her. He gave no reason as to why... Just the only reason he gave was kill her his boyfriend she he but did she, kill he her did boyfriend it, but she he really didn't kill her, her boyfriend her his her he sister machinated did. to have the sister yeah like that he's still technically responsible but i know but still like the sister fucked him and she killed him <laughs> um and now she's dead she got shot in the face by the sheriff that was kind of unexpected uh, that was so I, unexpected. I just want to point out, we had the the Last Supper scene earlier, and now she's got the razor wire as her crown of thorns here, if you see. I, I kind of like a lot of the shot composition. I really, I think it's it's the action scenes that yeah. were the weak. I don't know. I don't know. It's This movie's just bland overall. The dialogue, yeah. the, the script, I think. You know who wouldn't like this movie, and I wouldn't recommend watch this movie aunt mom she would hate this movie she would probably because it. it's I, a it's an allegory kind of type they're making fun of religion essentially as you could tell uh putting in last supper and the crown like they're kind of mocking it no i think they're just i think that's just weak writing uh okay. far cry 5 did all that exact same stuff far cry 5 uh took place out in the woods of the great american northwest or actually i think it was montana and the the bad guys were a religious cult, which, you know, as far as nameless, faceless baddies go, that's pretty generic. And the advertising uh, campaign had like the shots where it was it was the bad guys lined up like The Last Supper. The Last Supper is a very memorable, you know, it's a very important work of art. It is something that you, you do see parodied a lot, especially anytime yeah. a religion or a cult. Uh, comes into effect. So I just, I just think that was sort of ham-fisted, like, oh, let's put some symbolism in this movie. And it just didn't okay, come across yeah. as well. I, yeah. I, 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 I'm not giving I the agree. writers that much credit that they're trying to poke fun or mock religion. You're right. I take that back. I, I cut what I said about religion. <laughs> All right. No, um, no, you need to have what the wrong thing you said so that me schooling you sounds better. Look, even here... Before they got to the uh, the junkyard, they have that garish blue and red lighting. Like that's all the director had. That, that was yeah. his only the only trick up his sleeve was being able to light shot. Uh, but light that, shots that wouldn't like be that. the director. That would be the lighting. That's well, the crew lighting. That's the there's sure, a coordinator. Sure, there's but, a main guy for that. I mean, the the director is also in charge of the you know artistic direction right. of the film. And he clearly right. is comfortable shooting in that kind of scene. Like, here is the only scene where we have white light. Which was great! I like that, was, and I wish there was more. I think this was the best fight scene, too, even. Or maybe just a little bit of variety. 
to the scenes. Like, I I was kind of excited when they the guys came in on the motorcycles because I thought they were going to be riding the motorcycles around and would sort of be like mounted cavalry on their horses swinging weapons. But then they all just right. got off of the bikes. And it's like, oh, it was just another uh, sort of traditional fisticuffs throw you know down like I all thought? the other fights were. I thought that one of them was going to start trying to like run one of the girls over. Like that what that's what I was imagining. I was like, oh gosh, they're coming in with their bikes. They're going to go around. And then once they taunt them and they're ready, they're going to run them over. Or tr like, you know, like those fights, uh, like the horse on a horse and man war scenes. Yeah, that's exactly what I was expecting. Or I was also expecting two of them to be riding and have like a chain between them and like trip the girls. You know, like just the, the basic common expectation of the audience. Like we've seen this so many times already at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I think there could have been a little bit of variety then too. Or like maybe have like an American Gladiators type scene where they're like, You've got, like, the guy with, like, the Gatling gun shooting at them, and they're sort of, like, trying to dash from Car Hulk to Car Hulk and, like, kill the people who are shooting at them. I don't know. You could have had a few different set pieces, which, okay, yeah, you're going to drive your production costs up, but... I mean, we're watching people with severed limbs that have been replaced with chainsaws and axes fighting each other, and we're bored. So you got to do something. I know. Imagine I was pretty bored watching this. I was, and that's kind of surprising because I wasn't expecting it. Like, the idea is awesome. Like, how can you fuck it up, right? And I feel like they fucked it up. Although, they really didn't. They were just doing, uh, maybe, maybe that's the problem. They were there to do a job, and they did it. And that's the end of it. You know, like, I, I maybe that's the problem. Because... Everything else was okay. The script wasn't too terrible. Dialogue was fine. All this idea, the set, the special effects, the acting was fine. It was great. I thought the acting was mediocre, honestly. I wasn't... I was. You said you liked it, but I was never too yeah. invested in any of these characters. The stakes well, in any of these fights didn't seem yeah. high. Yeah, well... When it comes to their acting ability, because when when you asked me what I feel about the actors, their acting ability is there. Boom! Right there. It, that headshot where she just crushes that guy's head. You could have had... I wanted to... Like, that... I feel like that head crush should have happened at the end. That was a pretty good shot. Mm -hmm. And then it's like a one half second clip in this first fight. And this first fight had... A, like, the gore wasn't paced well enough, I don't think. Yeah. Because you gotta have That's a payoff. lot of work that they did too. I yeah. know. So you could tell a lot of love and care went into making this film. Yeah, the special effects was 100% the best that I've seen. It was so cool. Like when they're when the doctor is doing the surgery on her arm and exposing the mm -hmm. bone. I thought that was cool. Oh, it was so gross. The anatomy was fantastic. You could tell the special effects actually took an anatomy class where they knew what they the knew body's the bones supposed to look like. like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All that Man. stuff. What comes out? You know what? I, I think I would give this just one bucket of oil. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it was boring. It committed the worst sin a movie can do by being boring. And I don't know if the gore saves it in this case, even though the gore was awesome. So I like, I want to try to compare it to maybe Kill Her Goats, but we really liked Kill Her Goats compared to this for some I reason. I liked Kill Her Goats more than I liked this movie, yes. Did I like this more than Unwelcomed? I'll think about it. I am going to give this an oily trash rating, and I think I'm going to give it a two. Yeah, I, that's what I'm gonna say. Two buckets of oil for this. It's kind of bad. I would maybe, I would maybe put this below Unwelcome. I don't know. This movie sucked. It did. I, I wouldn't. I don't think I would recommend my anybody this movie because it's just a waste of time. Like it's not there. If I tell them about it, oh, it's about these women who, who like they, they have to gladiate or fight. They're gonna go in as we went in, thinking it's gonna be sick and awesome, and then just leave disappointed i can't pinpoint why i feel this way but i do it sucked i hated it it's bizarre that neither of us can really articulate where this movie let us down and i think 
I think that's why it let us down is because it was just bland throughout and there was nothing of nothing worth mentioning and it does again it like the the script or the the premise is amazing it sounds like something that a bunch of uh middle schoolers on cocaine would come up with but the execution yeah. was just lackluster and 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 here's the other thing like the main fight the main fight is the biggest fight and it's still just like i went into it like okay whatever like you know what? cool there was here's here's why it was boring there was no I, 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 let me let me think of the right word here. There was no incrementation, or what do you call it? There was no the there was no rising action. Each mm-hmm. gladiator fight was identical to the one before it. Mm-hmm. With, with the oh, with one exception was the final fight was that they were fighting people who were also augmented like them, but the structure of the fight and the actual action was identical. So yeah. you need to have each fight have higher stakes and have a little bit more action or do something it needs you know you need to have that gradual incline to your climax of your film that's that's how a story is told it it rises to the peak and then boom huge payoff this movie was a straight line it was a straight line and i think Every single time, like, I think it's a continuity issue. Like, there was, like, uh, they never went back and... Okay, here's one. They never went back and... What the is up with the people in the car? Like, why do they do that? Like, what's the reason for it? What I guess happened? they were just people who disobeyed, and that was their punishment, is they have to sit in those cars. I guess so. But uh, even, even was... talking about the movie now, like, normally I like to go back and check out other parts when we're talking about it, we're like, okay, well, look at this part. Look at this part. I don't even feel the need to do this because yeah. I don't remember anything specific that I want to see again. It all and I just think messed. it's because it is also identical. Also, again, with the lighting, like every scene is lit and shot mm-hmm. the same way. Even though this is a really interesting way to shoot a scene, like like you were but saying, you save, this, already- save this for your third act and your big final battle and have your other, right. or have each act uh, or each fight scene sort of lit differently. Right. Like, I, it would have been interesting to have one fight mono on one, mono, right? When they're doing one fight and it's just one lighting, one big, like, DDR light just hitting the center and they're fighting in the middle of this ring. You know, like the sumo wrestler. Uh-huh. And, and that would have been an interesting concept seeing that. And then one fight, it's all just super bright. It's they're, It's so bright that it's blinding the warriors uh also like incorporating other i think that's another issue that i had with this movie is that they didn't interact with the other slavers there was no besides the slave girl who is literally just a slave woman she's not a warrior she was speaking of the slave girl are both of these servants the same girl like there's one there's only one there's only one servant that we ever met, and it was just one. Well, there were the two of them one. in this scene, which maybe our avatars She's actually might extra. be blocking them. Okay. Uh, but it there looks, is two, yeah. It looks like the same woman somehow. I don't yeah, know. I, it's I, really weird. Whatever, this movie, this movie sucked. We hated it, it. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it because they're just everybody's going to be disappointed. Uh, for some reason that you can't really pinpoint. The idea is cool. Well, you know, what's interesting, like the parts that we did kind of like where she seduces Driller and even the montage training scene where they're all hitting at the uh, the tires, even though those are kind of uninteresting scenes on their on their own, like as far like compared to a brawl with a bunch of people with weapons, I think the reason those scenes sort of stood out was because they were the only scenes that were different from the entire rest of the movie. I like well, their costumes. Costumes, costumes are great. The, the effects were all great. We we loved all of the practical effects, all of the props, even though some of the props you could tell were a bit on the cheaper side. Oh, look, she has a slave girl. There's another slave girl who, like, says something, and then there, we never see her again. There are multiple slave girls? Yeah, I guess so. Look, see, look, this one right there. Yeah, I think that's the slave girl, though. I don't know. I, I can't tell people's faces apart. You know that. 
No, it's not the slave girl. This is a completely different person. She's a completely different person. But see, that's the thing. Our character, our main characters didn't incorporate. I think the problem is that it didn't really get involved with the life around that's going around it. Like they were just in the arena, in their locking rooms, in the arena, in their locking rooms. And I think that's what failed. It was that's what's boring. I think it was that premise. I say is the you fact that they didn't incorporate the rest of the what's going around them the the cults that's happening those other slave men or women uh why were they actually fighting non-warriors on the first like here on this first fight they're just normal people they're people in the cult so are why they? are they yeah, I guess, I guess so. they have to be, right? Like, they have. They're wearing the same clothes as the people that were on. Or the are set they also the slaves stage. that were captured? Because the guy shoots at one of them for not like going into the fight. And... No, because you know why? Because they don't have spare parts. They, they're just normal people with weapons, which is why I'm assuming that they're non-slaves or people in the religion. I think and you saved this movie by just completely ripping off gladiator and you have yeah. you have the four women and then you have a bunch of other slaves too oh well, that and would be interesting they should be in like a cell with the other slaves and they sort of have to become leaders you know you have like the leader of the band and then like maybe that's your dichotomy where the two sisters each want to like lead the people into battle but when they're when they both try to take charge they don't have a battle plan and more people die and then, yeah, you'd basically just do a gladiator. And then you have the group of slaves as a as a group overthrows your emperor. And they sort of... And then, you know, then you've got... Uh, what do they call that? The, the workers running the shop then at that point. And that's how... That's how I would try to structure this. Hold on. Now I'm curious. How do babies look like All right. Babies? We're not... We're not, we're not going to look up... Uh, you're gonna get a bunch of probably hideous. At three, at three months pregnant. Oh, how That's... do I Google this? No, right. I wouldn't. Okay, let's see. All right, Still this is. My... Listen, this is completely irrelevant. Uh, anyway, who cares? Yeah, who cares? Uh... Whatever. Like it was, it was supposed to look gruesome that they had taken her fetus out and had it in a jar and showed it to her. That, that was pretty metal too. All right, whatever. We're, whatever. Who cares? This this surgery scene <laughs> this is pretty. Is so like cool. you're gonna have to definitely censor that for the YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Grisly. All right. I don't have anything more to add. Uh, if you watch this and you're not su a subscriber, we're literally going to drug you, saw off your arms, and replace them with weapons. Yes. And and it's not gonna be your left hand or your right hand. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be your maybe dick. your foot. We're gonna replace <laughs> your dick with a machine gun. Ah, fuck! Actually, that's gonna make people less likely to subscribe because who wouldn't want to have a machine gun dick? I'm gonna. We're gonna remove the knees. We're gonna half both the remove the knees completely, like just surgically, beautifully clean out the knees out, and then add guns to it. So when you when you you have your bottom feet, you have your top legs. And you're just having two guns sticking out all the time. So when you sleep, it's very uncomfortable because you have little guns connected to it. All right. We're, no, we're, we're going to human centipede you if you don't subscribe. Yeah. All right. Take care. Comb your hair. Yeah. And remember to mace directly in your face. Bye. Oh.